Well, moving on, let's on what's our next topic. Yes, uh, next we'll be looking at the forestry industry. And uh, if you'll take a look at this graph over here, it shows the market size of the industry. Mm. And as you can see, it's been in a long period mm. of decline. Yes. In 1980, the industry was valued at over $10 billion. But in recent years, mm -hmm. it's been stuck at around $4 billion. So I assume that the number of people working in the forest industry is shrinking as well. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And uh, compared to the peak of about 150,000 forestry workers, uh, there are now just one third of that mm. number. So it's uh, definitely falling. Right. But if you look at the segment of just young people in mm. the industry, it's actually growing. Mm, I see. That's good. Yeah. And yes, uh, there's also been a big push by regions uh, mm. with big forestry industries to recruit young workers as a way to uh, revitalize the local economy. Mm -hmm. And we have a report on some of these new initiatives. So take a look. Kofu City, Yamanashi, Prefectural Road 7 that cuts through fields and forests. The sound of chainsaws echoes across the woods. Right now, we're using equipment to cut down trees that are obstructing the scenery at this tourist site. Pine trees in this prefectural forest are being felled to fight weevils that cause the wood to wither. Carrying out the work is Fujiwara Zorin, a local forestry firm. Quietly putting up signs and handing other minor tasks such as cleaning is a young man. 22-year-old Daisuke Shindo joined the company this spring. He recently graduated from the Agricultural Department of Shinshu University. I still can't do the work as smoothly as everyone else. I'm impressed by what they do. The senior employees have high hopes for Mr. Shindo. It's dangerous, tough work. And few people want to do it, so he deserves credit for coming here. Forestry workers nationwide totaled 146,321 in 1980, but had fallen to a third to 51,200 by 2010. Over the past two decades, the labor force has continued to shrink. But by age, young workers under 35 years old, such as Mr. Shindo, have increased by nearly a thousand compared to 10 years ago, reaching 3,190 in 2012. A big reason is the promotion of green employment by the forestry agency. Companies in the industry receive $900 annually for three years for every new hire to pay for training costs. Additional subsidies are provided for necessary training materials. Mr. Shindo has also been hired as part of this program. About $20,000 is paid to the company every year. The forestry industry is facing a labor shortage. So we hope to recruit new people to merge old and new trends and open up a new direction. Under this program, 16 people have been hired so far. Of those, seven have stayed with the company. They say the other nine left after two to three years. Getting young workers to stay on remains a big issue. I believe it's necessary to improve the skills of each worker and to set salaries based on an evaluation of their abilities and performance. The key to worker retention is ensuring that young hires feel a sense of personal achievement. On this day, new recruit Mr. Shindo is allowed to handle the chainsaw for the first time. I'm still making a lot of unnecessary movements. I keep going back and forth, so I'm not there yet. I'll try. Training is said to be crucial in getting new recruits to work independently. 
From now on, the forestry industry won't be about local rivalry. Instead, we'll have to face competition from wood overseas. That's what we need to focus on in training our workers. Forests make up more than 60% of the Japanese islands. New muscle and new ideas may be needed for the industry to plant its roots back into the ground.